pre-recorded video where I can tell you a couple things and then we can get started. So uh, honestly what I'm doing is buying myself time to turn the camera on and make sure that everything sounds good. But uh, while we do that, while we wait for myself, let's go ahead and comment below. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Maybe let's start with your name and where you're watching from. And then also I'd love to hear about uh, maybe the latest project you're working on or your favorite software. So if you can post a link below, go ahead and post a link to your portfolio. We'd love to check it out and see what you're up to. And maybe even let us know what your favorite uh, software is or maybe your favorite subject. Do you like web design or print design or making t-shirts or logos or branding? I don't know. Go ahead and comment below and let us know. We'd love to check it out. And then also, if you'd love to see what I'm up to, you can check out my work at DerekMitchell.com. You can see some YouTube videos at YouTube.com slash Derek Mitchell. And then also live streaming at Behance.net slash Mitchell's Garage. So you can check me out there. And then did I say Instagram? I don't know if I said Instagram yet or not. Instagram.com slash D Mitchell Design. So hopefully there's links and buttons and stuff here right there. Uh, anyway, all right, guys, we're about to dive into some really cool stuff. Uh, feel free to comment in the thread, and I'd love to, again, see what you're up to, and I'll try and answer your questions as we get going, but let's go ahead and dive in. Today's video is sponsored by the Graphic Design Bootcamp. If you're looking at becoming a graphic designer and you want to learn more about Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign, creating real-world projects that clients would actually pay you for, for things like logos, business cards, letterhead, and much more. Check out the link below for more information and a deep discount to get started today. Today's video is sponsored by the Graphic Design Bootcamp. If you're looking at becoming a graphic designer and you want to learn more about Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign, creating real world projects that clients would actually pay you for, for things like logos, business cards, letterhead, and much more, check out the link below for more information and a deep discount to get started today.
All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you join me here today. We are gonna be making some logos using Adobe Illustrator on an iPad. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Make sure you jump in, join in on the chat. We're streaming at Behance, on YouTube, on Facebook, all over the place. So uh, thanks for jumping in. What are you guys doing today? Let me know in the chat. Let me know where you're watching from, what you're up to, what you're working on. Self-promote if you wanna post a link to your portfolio. We love to check those out as well on the stream. So it should be a fun show today. Pretty low key, just going to be working on some logo design stuff on an iPad. It's a lot of fun. I've been really enjoying it. I actually got to go to Florida last week. So right now oh, I should have set up a, a camera for it, but looking out my window, it's snowing outside. It's garbage out. Uh, it just looks nasty. It's cold. It's wet. And last week I was in Florida and it was 75 degrees and I got to use my iPad right by the pool working on a logo for an actual client doing actual work and it was so much fun. What's up, Roy? Thanks for jumping in from Scotland. Uh, always good to see you in the chat. So uh, yeah, we're gonna have some fun today. And and it was really cool getting to get better at using the iPad uh, while I was traveling. I got to spend, had to spend a lot of time on a layover, almost seven hours uh, in one of the airports. And so having the iPad really close to just pull it up and get to work was really, really nice. So we're gonna continue on with that today. I hope this works here. I'm gonna jump over to a different view. Oh, good, okay. Uh, for whatever reason, my iPad, the, the feed has been kind of coming in and out. So I've had to restart a couple times. So hopefully it stays with us while we go live, have some fun. Also check in the, in the description below, there should be a folder uh, with assets. Currently there's only one asset. We're gonna jump in and do the, the random number generator thing again. So if you wanna follow along and do your own, your own project and you could use Illustrator on the desktop, you don't have to use the iPad. Uh, as far as the process that I'll be doing, you'll be able to follow along that way as well. But in that folder, let's just go ahead and jump over there real quick. Uh, let's see. Oh, and I got to move some things so I can see what I'm doing here, guys. Just a second. All right. So, uh oh, okay. Are we glitching? Are we good? All right. So what I've got, I've shared this folder with you uh, for anything that we're going to do today. So right now I've got the random business generator uh, spreadsheet. So if you open this up, what you're going to see is, uh, uh oh, uh oh, there we go. Didn't like that. You're gonna see this spreadsheet. Let me move it so you can see. And basically we have three columns with about 22 rows. Uh, columns and rows, I always get that confused. Anyway, so we've got these adjectives, these nouns, and the type. So we're gonna use the random business generator spreadsheet to come up with a logo idea, all right? So let's jump into uh, a browser here. And I'm gonna search for a random business generator, or yeah, random number generator. Okay. And we're going to pull up uh, this right inside of Google. And then we have our minimum and our maximum. So right now we have 22 rows on this thing. So if I change the number to 22, I can click generate and it's going to give me a number between one and 22. All right. So the first number is 22. So we are doing wild is going to be the first, first word. So wild, let's just open up a new text edit. How are things going, Roy? How's the, uh, so let's see, you were doing photography business and now you're kind of doing graphic design if I remember right. Is that right? How's that going? How's things? How's life treating you? All right, so we got wild as our first word for this logo. All right, let's generate the next number. Number three, which is phone. No, bread. All right, wild bread. This is, okay. Wild bread number 10. Wild bread fellowship. Wow. Wow, Jenna, my wife, the one who made this. <laughs> uh, Roy says, okay, slowly getting there. Uh, all right, let's see. So we're gonna close this. I don't need it anymore. Why, the Wild Bread Fellowship, which, you know, goes with the music we're listening to. The tunes today are brought to you by Stream Beats, courtesy of Harris Heller. I found him on Twitch and uh, he's put together some amazing tracks that we get to use for free on stream. So that's what I'm using right now. <laughs> uh, we are listening to an EDM 
playlist. So if it gets out of control, I claim no responsibility. All right, how is the stream, uh, Jenna or Roy? Everything sounding okay, and it's it's not glitchy yet. Hopefully things are, are good. Um, all right, let's do this. The Wild Bread Fellowship. Hmm, all right, let's get to work. Let's, let's have some fun with this. I see Jen. Hello from Southern California. What's up, Joshua? Thanks for joining in over on Behance. What's new? What's new from Saif? I need to move my screen so I can see what I'm doing. Hey, good news, though. I've got brand new monitors showing up on Monday, so I'll be able to see better what I'm doing, and uh, it should be a lot of fun. Let's get to work here. Let's jump in to the iPad, Adobe Illustrator on an iPad. So much fun. Let's make some things. So I already have a new document going on here. Uh, I'm not really too worried about the document size yet. All right. So let's add some text. All right, uh, what am I doing? Wild bread. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 let's do this. Why is my keyboard not showing up? Come on now. There it is, all right. Wild. Bread, what did we say? Fellowship? All right, new plan. Instead of taking a long time to make all of these things, I think we're going to see how many logos we can make. We're going to try and do three. What's up, Michelle? Thanks for jumping in. Good to see you. Roy says it's clear as a clear, wait, clear as day? Oh, sorry. That was from when I asked if everything was broadcasting well. Uh, thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, Let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> Muhammad says, I want to be rich people. That doesn't everybody, right? Rich, though, what does rich actually mean? Right? Like, is there a dollar amount that makes you rich? If you had $100 million, would you be rich? If you had $1, would you be rich? So somewhere in between, what's the magic number that makes you rich? I don't know. All right, let's get to work here. So what we're gonna do, the Wild Bread Fellowship. All right, so we're gonna need some icons, we're gonna need some fonts. All right, Wild Bread Fellowship. What are we gonna do with this? We're gonna need some bread, of course. There you go, Michelle's got it right. Do whatever you want without having to worry about being rich. Uh, all right, let's see. Guys, I got nothing. I need help. I need help. What are we going to do for icon? Are we going to do bread? Let's see if we got fellowship. That makes me think of like a church or something. I don't know. All right. Well, let's let's just kind of start uh, playing with some fonts here. Ugh. Can we change fellowship? I know, right, Michelle? I agree. Uh, this is part of the exercise, all right? If you had a client and that was that was their name, uh, that's what we're doing here. This is building our creative skills uh, <laughs> just this one time. <laughs> Michelle, you're so funny. Can we change fellowship? <laughs> Maybe just a company <laughs> just this one time. Uh, the company, here's the deal. This company, they've already signed their paperwork. They're a legal entity. And they have come to you, the Wild Bread Fellowship, <laughs> and they need a logo for their brand. And luckily, though, luckily they have not talked to their their uh, their significant others yet. So we don't have to use the color scheme that their girlfriend or boyfriend or husband or wife wants us to use. We can we can still do whatever colors we want. Luckily, okay. So we got some creative freedom here. All right, so. Um, All right, so over on Behance, Mohammed says, I see that even the money doesn't make you rich. Jenna, my wife says, could be ancient grains. Okay, 
Maybe it's a co-op, like a garden co-op. Okay. All right. Wild Bread Fellowship. Okay, could be a co-op. Could be... Uh, what else? What else? What else? We need some ideas for this. Roy says, a Mason's handshake from Fellowship. Michelle, I would try to keep a straight face and just say, okay, but be thinking something else. <laughs> right? All right. <clears throat> all right. Well... So all I've done so far is typed it out, and then I hit the little duplicate button. Uh, oh, that's going to be... Oh, you can see it. You can see it right here. So right to the immediate... So we got the trash can icon. And right to the left of it, we got the little duplicate button. I'm going to turn on... I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to go to my app settings. I'm going to turn on... Um, yep, I'm going to scale strokes and effects. Show taps as a blue dot. Palm rejection, yeah, we want that on. Ooh, double tap, let's double tap. Show color picker, let's see what that does. So I'm under input and under the Apple Pencil, I have double tap. So now when I double tap, haha, <laughs> oh wait, what? Oh, well that didn't do what I thought it should. Now I've got a million of these things. Uh, let's try that again. App settings. Show color picker. That should work. I don't know what's going on. Whatever. We'll keep going. All right. So let's grab some of these. Let's delete the extras here. All right. Uh, two hands linking together. What do we got over on B hands? Okay. So now what I'm going to do, Wild Bread Fellowship, I just got to find some fun. Like, I don't really have a concept yet. Usually we do a lot more discovery, but right now what we're just trying to do is get familiar with the software, trying to have some fun, and I want to try and build a couple logos quickly. So I'm going to jump over here to my properties. Let's scroll down a little bit. We've got our text. is currently Source Sans Pro. Let's click on that. Abolition. Sure. Let's throw that in there. Why not? All right. Let's grab another one. Change the font. Just gonna throw these in there, and uh, and the exercise. The point of this. So last time I did this live stream, I think it was like three hour logo design process. Uh, today, what we're gonna do is a little bit different. I'm trying to do some speed stuff. So I want to go as and not the drug. I'm talking about the exercise, going fast, uh, quickly, quickly coming up with ideas is the hope. That's the hope. We are. We're going to see. The hard part is then I keep talking. I need a host. Jenny, my wife. Jenna, you should come up here. Actually, she can't. She's she's doing stuff. But anyway, we're going to have some fun. We're just kind of throwing some fonts down. I am not getting picky at all yet. Uh, I would be a lot more picky. Um, but right now, I'm just trying to, like, just throw some stuff down. Let's see what happens. It wouldn't be a logo design project if we didn't use, is it Babus or Bebus? How do you guys say it? I say Babus, new. Anyway, that's a font that everybody uses all the time. All right, let's throw just a couple more in here. Chalk dust. Ugh. So if you guys are like me and you struggle with uh, finding fonts, and I know some of you already seen this from my last stream, uh, but let's just take a look at it real quick. If you struggle with fonts, <clears throat> go to fonts.adobe.com. Okay. And then once you're up there, oh, I got to sign in, continue. So across the top, we've got browse fonts, which is what you would expect to browse and find fonts. But what's really cool, and you can, you can you know, go through and really refine exactly what you're looking for here. Uh, right now, I'm not getting too, um, too picky on this process. I'm just trying to go fast. But come up here to font packs. Click on that. Okay. And then scroll down, and you can, you can see all these different font packs. Okay. And there's a lot of them, and there's a lot of really great designers that have taken the time to pull together the different fonts and do some different pairings, which pair nicely. Think of it like wine and cheese, right? Where you've got these different pairings that go together so nicely. Uh, so that's a great place to start. If you've got creator's block, uh, 
and and you're just kind of not sure what to do what to do uh check this out There's some great fonts some great ideas that might help you uh, jump in and get going this looks cool what is this fenway park let's view that font family one thing i want to see so i can sync this uh, so here's fenway park um if i activate this font right now which you can't quite see because of where my screen set up uh, it should activate on my desktop but it, i don't think it'll activate on my ipad so let's um let's jump back over here let's go back your fonts more fonts down here at the bottom oh you can't quite see let's come up here let's switch back to this all right so down here in the bottom where it says more fonts and, uh, just to show you how we got there i'm on the ipad right i've got this selected with my selection tool over here on the properties tab down here under text we're gonna come down here to more fonts okay all right so lots of fonts here uh we can browse by tag Oh, we could use the mobile app as well. And I got to be honest, guys, I'm, I'm still pretty new at the iPad uh, Illustrator app just because typically I like having my hands on the keyboard just because I'm faster with it. Uh, so so relearning how to use Illustrator on the iPad, sometimes there's things that I come across. I'm like, oh, I don't really remember how to do that. So um, I, I guess I hope the takeaway would be if if you're new and a beginner like don't hesitate just to jump in and push buttons you're not going to break anything so give it a try jump in see what see what happens uh let me pull something up real quick uh Mohammed says i want to ask something even if i haven't the skill of drawing can i get into illustrator absolutely a hundred percent Mohammed. so let me let me so i took i took uh four years of college and I had to take art classes, so I can draw okay. Uh, but for most of what I do, I'm not really relying too much on my drawing skills as much as I am on my ability or my skills that I've learned the different tools within here. So for example, let's say we use one of these icons or one of these uh, as as the mark. Like I didn't draw any of these, right? They're all fonts from somebody else. Yeah, Muhammad, 100%, like really, yes. You could be a terrible artist. You could not know how to draw at all. Uh, but if you figure out the software and, and let me, let me preface this by, I've spent over 20 years getting good at what I'm doing. And, um, so there's things that I've learned along the way that help make me faster. And there's also things that I've learned tips and tricks along the way that I've discovered, make things look better than, than other ways. So there are principles and elements of design that will get you closer to a good result. And as you learn those, you'll be able to get faster. Uh, but dude, you can uh, jump right in here and start making stuff and have lots of fun with it. Like totally do it. Uh, 100% recommend it. All right. So uh, I feel like I'm stalling out adding fonts to the iPad. I, I think I'll come back to that later because I don't want to waste a bunch of time. Um, uh, Michelle says people always assume graphic designers draw. Uh, no, can't. I don't I don't know what you meant there, but yeah. Everybody assumes you can draw, and some of them really can. I think you'll be more. I think you'll, in some ways, how it just depends on what you're trying to do. Let me let me say this too. Um, I, you're going to attract more of what you do. So if you want to be a really good illustration, you know, uh, artist, somebody who draws or illustrates, do a lot of that. But if you're just creating, you know, uh, a business card or a brochure, and you don't need any illustration skills, you, you're going to attract more of that. So if you want to learn to draw better, just do more of it. Uh, but in the meantime, if you have no desire to be good at drawing, then, you know, focus more on, on other ways to use these skills. Um, so let's, let's keep going here. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Okay. We've got some fonts. I was just trying to add more here. Um, all right. I don't want to do it that way. Sure, five stars. 
All right, here we go. Let's see. Let's filter. So we were back on the desktop and we had found it was Fenway Park. Okay. So just a recap of how I got here. If you're watching, you probably saw it, but just in case, I went down here to the fonts and we went to more fonts, scrolled all the way to the bottom and then down here, this little link, open Creative Cloud mobile app. So I have the Creative Cloud mobile app on here as well, as well as Illustrator and Photoshop and all the other ones. Uh, so what we're gonna do, um, let's see, let's, So here's, here's what's going on here. So at this tab, tab it says, uh, I have 47 active fonts on my desktop that are not active on this iPad. So if I click on this, you can see all of the fonts. So let's say I'm trying to round trip to my computer and my iPad. This is a quick way to see like, oh, these are the fonts that it, maybe I used a lot that have not been synced on this iPad yet. Um, I like to look at this one. Cool. All right, so now the question is, I want to add this to my iPad. Change the size, oh, that's cool. All right, so I click this little T with the plus button up here on the top right. And it's gonna install the fonts. Boom, they should be installed. So which font was this? Brothers OT, all right. So let's add that back over here. Brothers, OT, boom, look at that, synced up, so cool. I love how everything just works, I hope. I maybe said that too soon. <laughs> uh, did it work? Something's freaking out here, it's not working. All right, well, while it gets happy about life, let me check the chat again real quick, see what you guys are up to. Hey, if you want to, be sure to... Um, oh, Mohammed says, I recently got into Spark Post. Spark Post is an awesome Adobe app. Uh, I love that. I love it. Such a good app. Um, so it looks like this right here. Uh, this guy right here, this red one. Spark Post, Spark Page. Uh, Adobe Arrow, these are all, so if you look at my screen, I think I have most of the Adobe apps on this screen. These are all really great apps. Adobe Capture up here is an awesome, awesome app. Uh, I've got a tutorial about that on my YouTube channel. And right now I'm just stalling because Illustrator uh, needed a minute to get happy about life. All right, there we go. I think it was installing that font, which is why it was choking a little bit. All right, so I clicked on that. It synced up, so cool. Uh, all right, so, so far, I have just been talking about installing fonts. We have not designed anything. Um, I was gonna do Fenway Park. Sure, why not? Let's let's do that real quick. Let's just see if we can find it. It's not gonna be on here yet, I don't think. Oh, there it is. Okay, it is. I don't know if I already used it somewhere else or if it was smart enough to pull it up, but there it is. All right, that is plenty of looks for us to start kind of getting crazy with it. All right some serious EDM dubstep going on. I don't know if you guys can hear it very well though. There we go. That is intense. All right, I'm all hyped up to make the Wild Bread Fellowship logo. Any icon ideas, you guys? Uh, let's do, oh, oh, Jenna had an idea, like an ancient grains. All right, so let me, uh, uh, so, so Muhammad says, if, if I'm going to make a logo, I feel that using free icons is a deception. Um, no, actually. And in fact, I mean, okay, there, here's the deal. The difference is I got to turn this music down. It's, it's out of control. Uh, the difference is, um, I don't like to purchase stock art and just like pass it off as my own, but I will use that as a jumping off place. And in fact, I just did that over this trip and I'll show you guys, I can't show you yet how I did that because, uh, it's still in the middle of production and hopefully by the 15th of this month, this brand will be done and I can show you 
what I purchased as a starting place and where we ended up and how I customized it because uh, the turnaround was so fast for this project. Like there was no time for me to go totally scratch and just like come up with something amazing. So we bought a couple of different elements and then crafted it, like pulled those pieces together and made it our own. And that's totally, totally legit. Uh, I think, especially as a beginner, if you're trying to learn, it's a great place to learn. Okay, let's let's do some things here. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just kind of see one any of these that I want to follow through with. Talk amongst, amongst yourselves. <laughs> All right. So what I'm doing now is I'm selecting one, the, the ones that are kind of interesting to me, duplicating it, and then I'm bringing it over to the artboard so I can kind of experiment more with those. All right, let's play with these. All right, so what I want to do here. Roy says he likes the old type font or, uh, yeah. Oh, I know what we should do. Okay. I don't know how to do this on an iPad, but I want to, I want to arch this a little bit. So what we're going to do is World. Oh, there we go. Pay attention to the tools you're using. All right, let's see. How do we do this? I want to. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. I don't know how to do this on an iPad. I'm sure it's possible. So we're just gonna move on with a different style logo. How's that? So here's an important step. I'm gonna create outlines from this. So down here on the right hand side, I've got the little T, looks like an outline. Click on that. I'm gonna outline the text. Okay. The reason why I'm doing that, duplicate it, because I want to grab, delete all this extra stuff. This guy, what we're gonna do with this guy, click on it, we're gonna rotate it. And then uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. So I was trying to create a line and uh, the hope here is to match the weight and the little serifs on this font here with the line, right? 
So just, just an easy way to get uh, continuity with the elements in your logo. Okay, so this used to be the letter I. Let's see what I did to it. Let's see if there's any there's a few ways we could do this here. We're just kind of goofing around. Uh, so let's copy this. We're going to duplicate it. Now we got to flip it. Oh, okay. Um, I don't remember how to do that. Do it this way. Let's duplicate it, rotate it, drag it into place over here. We're gonna outline this wild bread up here as well. So that way, as we snap things into place, it will line up with that guide at the top here. All right, oops. I feel like on an iPad, you gotta be really careful. Uh, I, I have to hit undo a lot just because I hit things with the palm of my hand because I don't have one of those fancy gloves yet. Uh, and the other thing is, see how it's kind of moving a little bit on me? I'm start dragging and then I'm gonna hit this little modifier to constrain it. But it's not snapping up here to this like I want it to. So let's take a look at that. So we could turn our grid on. I don't know if you guys saw how I did that, but uh, basically on the side, click on this menu item and we're gonna turn the grid on. So that could be helpful depending on how you're designing if you're really trying to get precise with things. And I'm having a hard time seeing what I'm doing because I've got my blue marker turned on so you guys can kind of see, see my process. Uh, but it's also kind of goofing with me a little bit, trying to see exactly how we're doing here. That's all right. We'll get it close. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get three logos in if I'm taking this much time. we got to speed this up. Speed it up. Here we go. Let's align these together. All right. All right, so how would I do that? Okay, so usually on the desktop, I would highlight these two and then I'd use my arrow keys to nudge these to the left or the right. Uh, I'm not quite sure there's a good way to do that on an iPad. So I'm gonna use my grid to snap this. So one, two, three, four, five. I'll drag this right to here. Okay. I'll make this one five as well. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and this isn't perfect right now. Uh, and it's wiggling on me a little bit. I'm not sure that I'm digging that. I want to make sure my stuff is exact. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to select both of these pieces. We're going to click on this button down here to group them together. Okay. So now I can shift and tap on the fellowship board and come back over to my align. And we're going to make these line up. Oh, they didn't group. I broke the group. There we go. Now they're grouped. They were grouped to begin with. There we go. All right. Whoa. There we go. Okay. 
I like the look of that. Let's give it an icon of some sort. Okay, so I'm looking at this letter B here. And to me, I think I could turn that into a piece of bread. Let's double tap, triple click down into here. I want to copy this. I went too far in. We're going to duplicate that. Bring it up here. And how do I cut it? We're going to go here to scissors. We're going to cut it. And the reason why I did that is to pull it out of the group of the whole text. And now I can come back in here and just paste it. Okay. All right, so let's turn this B into a piece of bread somehow. And then the other thing we're gonna do is we wanna make some like ancient grains looking thing. We'll see, we'll see how we do. step back. I'm going to duplicate this so I have something to come back to. All right. <clears throat> let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right, let's play with something else. Let's play with um, what a piece of grain look like. All right, something like this, something like this. All right, let's look at that a little bit. All right. Um, all right. So much for going fast, huh, guys? <laughs> so much for making three logos. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how we do here. Maybe something kind of like that. button. Together. Duplicate them. All 
Oh, you know what tool I should be using? Let me see. Let me see if we can get this. Finish this thought and we'll come back to it. about putting slices. Yeah, I like that idea, Michelle. Um, I'll circle back to that. I'm finding it difficult mentally to, to be streaming and using an iPad to do all this. So my thoughts are trying to keep them, keep them all straight here, what I want to do. All right. Um, what's this going to do? Gotcha, Michelle. I'll give that a try. All right, let's see. Uh, hmm. Have you guys played with this yet? Um, on an iPad at all? So check this out. This repeat tab down here. You can get some really, really cool stuff. Uh, and I'm hoping maybe I get lucky here and make something that's cool. Looks like a snowflake, but let's roll with it. Let's keep playing. Let's do another one. It's not going to do what I want. So Muhammad, hopefully you're seeing, if you're watching me kind of struggle through this a little bit, um, I'm not really using any illustrator skill, like like hand-drawn skills to make what we're doing here. Um, most of this comes from, you know, building shapes together and getting to do what you want. Emphasis on getting them to do what you want right now. I'm kind of, uh, I don't know. We're just kind of, we're just kind of playing. I'm not trying to take it too seriously. Um, but yeah, if you just learn the tools and learn how to like put shapes together, you can go pretty far uh, doing things like this. All right, so what I want to do now, and I, gosh, I don't know if there's a way to do it on the iPad. Uh, let's see. Okay. All right. Let's just scrap that. Okay. Time to wrap it up. Time to wrap it up.
We're gonna go super hipster on this one. Hey, good morning. What's up from the Philippines? Thanks for jumping in. So we're just joining in. You guys can follow along. Uh, basically, we are doing some logo exercises where we're trying to build stuff uh, from scratch using a worksheet, a spreadsheet, spreadsheet, an Excel spreadsheet. And basically, you can download it. There's a link below. And then use a number generator to... Uh, come up with random words right so that's how we got to wild bread fellowship uh pretty weird uh kind of strange obviously um but we're pretending like it's our client and that's that's their name and so we're trying to make something up okay uh, okay so here's an interesting thing that's happening uh we're gonna turn this grid off for a second so as i look at this and again i'm kind of i'm kind of a little bit handicapped trying to do something on the iPad that I can't quite do on the desktop. Um, trying to build some of these ideas and I'm sure there's a way to do it. I'm just still getting you know familiar with it. So uh, anyway, what I notice is that the word wild and the word bread aren't the same length. So this doesn't fall right in the middle. So it's kind of unbalanced. So there's a couple things we could do here. We could stretch out the word wild to match the word bread. Let's, let's show you what I mean. Um, or I could make fellowship, the word fellowship, line up with this kind of X icon so it feels more balanced. And then I could change the length of these underlying things, but I don't like that approach at all. So let's let's just kind of show you what I think we're gonna, we're gonna do. I like to use shapes to measure things. So what I'm gonna do is just click here and drag out a rectangle. And we'll change our color to just something else that makes it easy to see, okay? And we could change the order of the stack, throw it behind, maybe. Oh, not sure why. It must be my layers. So we're going to cut it. And we're going to paste it. And we want to throw this all the way to the bottom. I don't know if there's just a ton going on here. It doesn't seem to be working for me. I'm doing something wrong. So uh, let's, come on now. All right, well, that's not working for me. So we're just gonna do it like this. All right, we're gonna clone it, I'm gonna drag it over here. And now what we're gonna do is make the word wild take up about the same amount of space and just see what happens here. Okay, so we're gonna click on this. We're gonna break it apart. Now we're gonna select all the ones in between. Come over here to our alignment. We're gonna distribute them so they're all equally spaced. So now I can see that they're the same size visually. We'll delete those guides. We don't need them anymore. I don't know. This is kind of heading in a direction. I don't know if it's the right direction. Something's happening. So let's group all this together now. Align it. All right, there's a look, there's something. Love it or hate it, there's a logo. Let's be done with this one. Let's, uh, we could come back to the bread slice thing, but I think we're just gonna move, we're gonna move on. So.
Wild Bread Fellowship. Now, let's... Uh, all right, we need some colors. What, what are their colors going to be for the brand? Checking a couple things real quick, guys. I somehow closed my Behance window. All right. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. Spending your Saturday. Hope you guys are having a great day. Loving life, doing the things. All right. My wife says purple in all caps. All right. All right. Purple it is. Nobody else is saying nothing. So we are going to uh, we're going to play with purple on this. Wild Bread Fellowship. I think those stalks are too thick for the logo, but we're not going to beat it up too much. We are just going to roll with it. We're going to pretend like the client said, this is how I want it to be exactly. So now we've got to take this logo and do something cool with it. So I'm going to grab a rectangle, click and drag over here. Let's align it to the artboard to the top and to the right. So now I got to do is make it line up down below, snap it into place. Colorize this thing. Oh, white. I want it to be white. So usually before I show color to a client, I will show them the mark just in black and white because I want them to be able to see it and understand if it if it's what they want it to be. Um, I'm using a different artboard size than I usually do also, so I'm not sure. I'm going to draw a rectangle down here. And then select both of these and use that as a way to make sure that this is lined up in that negative space. Delete it. Align those. Boom. Okay, cool. So now I've got an artboard with a pretty decent, I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. Um, and again, something I want to point out to my rum and Coke guy myself. I like a good rum and Coke. Um, I tried to do that too much though. Cause you know, water's better for you guys. You gotta drink water. Although rum and Coke does sound really good right now. All right. Uh, let's see. Now we are going to what's no nose dives from the computer. All right, I think we're back. Um, all right, so what we're gonna do, uh, we've got the black and white version of this logo. Let's go ahead and throw a color option down. So I just duplicated the uh, artboard. I don't know if you saw what I did, but I click on the title and then went down here to the duplicate button uh, to, make a, to make a clone. All right, now I'm gonna click on this black square I'm going to come up here to my properties, go down to the fill. We're going to grab a color here. Boom. There we go. And just like that, without even introducing color to the logo, we've introduced color to the brand. That's a really, really quick and easy way to show color to a client without getting too crazy about it. Let's push this a little further. select both of them. I'm going to group them so I can shift click on this guy over here, and this one, and then align everything vertically. <coughs> All right. Now click on these. We're going to break them apart. Oops. I don't want that one. Let's delete that. What do you think? Are you guys learning anything? Is this good? Is this, is this fun? Is this helpful? Let me know. 
sample. So that matches. Cool. All right. There's a look. There's an idea. Royce is very helpful. Thanks. I appreciate that. <clears throat> I mean, I'm doing this for you guys. It's fun to stream and all. Uh, but if you have questions, if I can help you somehow, that's why I'm doing this. So uh, let me know. Let me know. Next song. All right. All right. All right, just like that, we've got a few different looks that we could share with our client. Uh, so how are we gonna get this out of the box and actually share it with them? Uh, some other things we wanna consider too would be, um, like if there was multiple looks and not just one look. Let me think about that real quick. So typically, typically at this stage, let me click on this and duplicate it. So typically black, back here at this stage where I've got a black and white canvas, I would probably have more than one look. So just for kicks. We're gonna do the snowflake version. I just kind of like totally zoned out there for a bit. I was having a lot of fun with this. <laughs> uh, yeah, I really, really like this new radio uh, tool. What do you call it? Property? I don't know. Effect? That's fun. That's neat. Uh, I'm way off track here. Way off track. Somebody save me. Uh, <laughs> all I was trying to do... I didn't like this awkward negative space in the middle. Whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter. Because all I'm trying to do is show you. <laughs> Gosh. Wow. Uh, trying to show you. If I was going to show multiple versions of a logo, I'd do something like this. Thanks for the thumbs up over on Behance. I really appreciate it. Uh, okay. Let's, let's give it a number. Number one. Okay, and I'd probably do something generic for the font. Uh, let's do... Aerial rounded, doesn't even matter. Okay, there's one, we're gonna clone it, bring it down here. Two, all right. And I might even make them... Uh, where is my color? like a lighter color and that way it doesn't conflict with the logo design. Okay. Uh, oh man, I keep doing that. Is there a way, I don't think there's a way on the iPad. Uh, what I'm looking for is the eyedropper tool, which I just realized I don't 
think I have access to on here. Uh, I was trying to sample the style from this guy. So what we're going to do, we're, oh, that's not what I meant to do. All right. Uh, we're going to select this guy and delete it. Select this guy, duplicate it. And just change it to number one. All right. Cool. So we got one and two. All right. So just an easy way as you send graphics to clients to be like, yeah, I like number one or I like number two or I hate all of them or I love them or whatever. Uh, just really, really simple. Just throwing a number on it. Okay. And then uh, if I was going to share this, we'll click on this artboard. I'm going to come here to the top right, hit share. Uh, quick export as PNG. Uh, we are going to save the files and I'm going to change my display. Sorry guys, I've got some stuff I don't know if I can show yet. I don't know what it's going to do when I do this. So let me just try this first. Uh, Okay, so it's going to save five images. If I click save five images, it exported them. Just checking some things real quick. Uh, okay. Cool. So what it did... <laughs> Uh, I'm just checking a couple things real quick here. All right, so it put everything. I exported it to my photos, okay? And so what I could do now, it just exported each artboard. Why did it do that? That's strange. Oh, it's because they're PNGs and the background is transparent. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Let's Let's switch back to Illustrator. And what I did, so I exported these export as a PNG or I can publish an export and I can choose what the file is going to be. Maybe a PDF might be a better way to send it, but because I did a PNG, the background is transparent. Um, and so it showed up as black. So instead of this background over here, uh, let's do this view. Okay. So instead of this background being white, it came through as transparent. So because I was in the photos app when I did this, the white background just went away because this is transparent, right? So what we're going to do is either put a white background behind it or when I go to export this thing, go to share. Instead of going quick export as a PNG, we'll go to publish and export. And let's just do a PDF, okay? Click export. And uh, I'm just going to save it to my files. I'll throw it on my Creative Cloud files. Or demo, sure. Save it under there. Okay. Um, so then what I would do is I would go into my email app. I'd go back into my email app and I would actually pull up that PDF file and send it as an attachment to my client. Or uh, when I save these to my photos, I could share them as a photo and just text it to whoever I was sending it to. So a lot of times with my clients, I just text things back and forth. So I use Messenger a lot to share files. Uh, I hope that made sense. Did that make sense at the end there, guys? I was trying to show you everything I could, but um, also I've got stuff that I, I can't show yet. Uh, give me a couple weeks though, and then you can see it all, uh, hopefully. What's up, Martha? Thanks for joining in. Hello on Adobe Live. Good to see you. Uh, what do you think? Should we keep going? Should we make some more? What time is it? How'd I do on the stream? I've got about not much more time. Um, my wife says the stream is frozen on Behance. That was a while ago, I hope. Are we still frozen? Are we back? Are we back? Are we back? I hope we're back. Um, okay, so was that helpful? Did that help you guys? Did you learn something new? We made a Wild Bread Fellowship logo based on the random number generator. So if you're just tuning in, if you came in late, check out the assets below. There's some links below for you guys to join in and do the same thing for yourself. Jump in, create a logo, try and see how fast you can do it. Let me switch screens here real quick. Uh, so what we did is we opened up, if you click the link below, you're gonna get this spreadsheet. Things are getting a little bit glitchy here. It's a Saturday night. My computer says, hey, hey, it's time to be done. I've been working hard all week long. Time for a break. 
All right, so we pulled up this and we went to Google and we found a random number generator. Oh yeah, things are getting a little bit glitchy, a little bit unhappy. <clears throat> All right, random number generator. Let's do another one. Do you guys want to do another one? I won't. I'm out of time. I took way too long for that. Um, so what we did is use this sheet. We got from one to 22, so my max will put 22 on the number in here. All right, we're gonna generate a number. We've got number 13, reliable. Let's copy that. Let's just throw it in here. Jen, how am I doing on time? How much time do I have left? Can I do another one? Or do we gotta wrap it up? Reliable. What's the next one going to be? 18. Reliable backpack. I like where this is going. All right. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Number five. Agency. Reliable backpack agency. All right. Boom, the Reliable Backpack Agency. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Do I make animated overlay? <clears throat> uh, that's coming from YouTube from, is it Fate Lyric over on YouTube? Uh, I need to, I need to make an animated overlay for my streaming. I've started to multiple times and then real work got in the way and I, I didn't finish. So someday, someday I'll make an animated overlay. I did some stuff. Ooh, I could probably show you this. Let me see. Maybe this might break things. I don't know. Uh, hey, if you've enjoyed this on a side note and you'd like to support me, uh, and you already have all my courses, you can go to buymeacoffee.com slash Derek Mitchell and you can buy me a coffee. Although it'll probably realistically be a bang energy drink or a bottle of water, but still the sentiment is the same. Help support the stream, help support me and my family. Uh, if you learn something today and you, you feel generous, try it out. No worries though, no big deal if you don't. Um, I was gonna show you some animated overlays, but I don't know if this will do it. Let me see. Oh, there it is. Okay. Hey, that's for our Moto Monday, that little swoosh thing um, that I made. So that's for Moto Monday coming up this Monday at noon. Check it out with Paul Gowan and I. Um, lots of fun. Lots of fun stuff. Okay, uh, the question is when you, sorry, we're kind of going off script a little bit here. We're doing some logo design stuff, but I love going live and I love answering questions. So we're gonna do this. So the question is, um, do I know how, when you when you pull in the animated overlay into Streamlabs, how do you take away the black screen? Okay, so yeah, when you export, if you're coming out of After Effects or if you're coming out of um, Premiere or whatever you're doing, uh, there's a setting on your export. So let me open up After Effects and probably crash everything, but that's okay. We're here to learn. We'll have some fun. We'll have some fun doing it. So let's see what happens. Uh, I'm gonna check in over here with uh, okay After Effects. Cool. So it's gonna be. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be in your export settings. Um, so you're gonna want export as a ProRes the 444, and then there's a little toggle where you change it to be RGB and alpha. Let me show you real quick if I can find a project that I can open. After Effects is still opening for me. It's, it's taking a second. Um, so when you export it, you wanna pull it in, export it, it'll be a .mov file and that .mov file will have the transparency built in. I'm guessing that's where, where you need to do it. Um, to be honest, I use Ecamm Live for my live broadcasts. So uh, I, I don't know if it's a setting 
on Streamlabs where the black is not coming through or it is coming through, the transparency is not working out for you. Um, I'm opening a project right now just so I can show you. All right. Uh, let's see. I have no idea which one to open that's going to have what I want to show you. But we'll, we'll try it. We'll make something up. Okay, it doesn't even matter what I use. Uh, this will just this will just help you see. So let's go ahead and jump into here. All right, so I'm in After Effects, and uh, let's say I want to render this out. We'll just render out this this scene real quick. Uh, let's go to File, down to Export, add to Render Queue. So you've made your animation and you want to export it as an overlay. This is the setting that I use when I go to do it. So down here under Output, click on this lossless. Okay, and the format, we want this to be, let's see, format options. Okay. Apple ProRes 4444, four, four. click okay. All right, so format is QuickTime. Just, sorry, I'm clicking faster. I just wanna make sure I get this set right. All right, so into format options, we changed to Apple ProRes, we click okay. And then right here is, right here, your channels by default is going to be RGB. Change that to RGB plus alpha. Okay. Click okay. And then render it out. And then that should render out transparency for you. So as long as your canvas is, you know, has those transparent areas, like let's say you're doing a lower third or something uh, that should render it out. And then for me in Ecamm, all I do is just drag and drop that file right into a scene. So hopefully that helps you. Uh, over there on YouTube, uh, Fate Lyric asking that questions, how to do that. Uh, I hope that helps. Um, that's the setting for me that works is, is um, the format Apple ProRes and then make sure your channels have the alpha channel as well. So uh, that's how I do it. That's how I make the animated overlays on my stream when I'm doing stuff. Don't save. I uh, hope that helps somebody out. Let me check uh, a couple things here real quick. Uh, we were going to make an out, uh, a, a logo design for the reliable backpack agency, but I think I'm out of time for the day. Uh, so we will save this for another day, another logo design day. I hope you guys had fun. That was fun. I really enjoyed that. I know it's a shorter stream today. Uh, nothing too crazy. Just hanging out, having fun using illustrator on an iPad. I love this app so much. Uh, it's been a lot of fun learning and getting to use it in my workflow for work. And, uh, <laughs> dude, so when we went to Florida last week, we, I mean, me and a, a couple of the other guys I work with and, um, and, uh, I was cram So I'm six, six, uh, and I'm about 270 pounds. Like I'm a big dude. <laughs> Like I don't fit on an airplane well. So I was just crammed. Well, on the way down, I had first class cause I was able to upgrade. So I had space to work on my iPad. It was a lot of fun on the way back home. It was so crammed. We were on this tiny little airplane cause to fly into Kalispell, Montana, where I'm from, uh, there's not many flights coming in. So there's like this tiny airplane and I was just like crammed up against the window seat, uh, which usually I'd like the window seat, but the window was back behind me. So I couldn't even really look out the window. It was miserable. Uh, but it was cool though, that even though I was crammed that far into it, if I had my laptop, I wouldn't have been able to work, but because I have my iPad and it's so small, uh, it let me keep pushing things forward. So I've been really enjoying using illustrator on the iPad and Adobe Photoshop as well. Uh, still learning it. Obviously you kind of saw some of that today, still learning some of the ropes and, and some of the settings are a little bit different, obviously than they are on a desktop, but it's a lot of fun. Um, Hey, over on, on YouTube, Fate Lyric. Uh, yes, I do stream on other platforms. I've got a Facebook group. Uh, I recently broke up with Facebook, actually. You can read all about it on my website. Uh, if you go to um, DerekMitchell.com, I've got a blog. I've got lots of stuff happening. I've got courses, all kinds of stuff. So check it out. Uh, but under my blog here, I talk all about why I moved away from using Facebook and Instagram. So I took those apps off of my phone for the privacy issues, but I still do have a Facebook group. Change this music. Uh, I still have a Facebook group though, uh, and I'm streaming there right now. If you go to uh, facebook.com slash complete graphic design, it's a great group. I think we have almost 18,000 members in there right now. So I, I'm streaming live uh, in there and you can check us out 
Oh, that's the group. I always get that confused. So I stream on here. I stream on YouTube. I'm on Behance right now, uh, actually, with Adobe Live. Uh, getting to stream with them has been fantastic. Such a fun thing to do. So check me out. I'm, I pretty much stream the same thing across the board, though. Uh, I thought about streaming on... I stream on Twitch. Um, I thought about streaming completely non-related to graphic design and doing uh, Fortnite or other PlayStation games, because that's fun to do, too. Uh, maybe you'll catch me on there one of these days. I don't know. So... Anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, unless there's any other questions here before I sign off. How many viewers do I pull? Uh, depends. I've got about 1,000 over on on uh, Adobe. When I'm on YouTube, I think I have like, I don't know, 10. <laughs> I think I have like one streamer or one viewer on, on Twitch. Uh, so anyway, it's fun. It's fun. Uh, I've got about 150,000 students on Udemy. Um, 100, actually, 120, 130. I lose... I lose track. I haven't checked recently, but across all the platforms, I'm at about 150,000 uh, students and followers. So it's been fun. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, super grateful and thankful for you guys for tuning in and, and joining me today. Uh, if you want to stay tuned and you want to keep up with what I have going on, uh, definitely check out my website again over at DerekMitchell.com. And then if you scroll down to the bottom, thanks, Roy. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Roy says, I enjoy your work. Uh, if you, if you go to my website at DerekMitchell.com, you can see pretty much everything I'm up to. So uh, you can see my courses. You can check those out. And uh, a lot of cool stuff happening there. I've got a lot of free tutorials you can check out, some blog posts. And uh, you can see uh, this one's actually a really cool one. This Adobe Fresco review. That's a good, a good one. Life Trace hand lettering for logo design. Uh, lots of cool YouTube videos that are a little more polished and to the point the live streams are a little bit longer and drawn out mostly so you guys can ask questions and i can help you along the way uh but check it out i would love to have you check out my work subscribe like tap the bell do all the things uh and then stay tuned i'll be streaming a lot more here in the very near future uh on mondays i do a thing called moto monday with my friend paul gowan it's more of a business development and success stream we talk about uh everything from how to stay focused to how to land more work as a freelancer uh, Roy says he found me on Skillshare. That's right. And actually on Skillshare, uh, I have a brand new course about package design. You guys can check out. There should be a link below this video uh, that will also get you a 14-day free trial to premium if you're not a Skillshare member yet already. So check that out. Lots of ways to find my stuff. Uh, stay tuned for more. I'll be streaming frequently. Uh, right now, kind of focused on Adobe's Illustrator and Photoshop apps for the iPad. And... Uh, branding and just all kinds of stuff, all kinds of stuff. Today we got into even just a little tiny bit of After Effects. So hopefully that was helpful um, for that overlay uh, question we had over on YouTube. So thanks again, guys, for watching. Thanks for being here. Uh, have an awesome day and stay tuned for more. Be sure to join my newsletter. Again, if you scroll to the very bottom of my website, give me your, your name and email. I won't spam you, I promise. I'll just send you updates when I go live and, and other things like that. So uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Have an awesome day. We'll catch you later. All right, guys, thanks for watching today. I uh, hope you learned a lot of valuable information and I appreciate you sticking around to the very end. But before you go, just a couple things I wanna remind you. The first is if you haven't already, feel free to like this video if you can, depending on where you're watching from, give it a thumbs up or subscribe or tap the bell or give it a follow if you can. And uh, also maybe even just copy the link up in the browser and share it with a friend or post it to your Facebook page. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, but again, just want to say thanks for uh, sticking around and I'd love to continue going live as much as possible and helping you guys out. So the best way that I can help you is by you commenting on the videos below. I read those comments. I engage with them as soon as I can, if I can, when I see them. So if it's live, I'll try and answer you right away. If this is a replay, you can still comment on the video and uh, I go back and I read those. So I just wanted to say thanks again for watching and let me know what you're working on. I'd love to help you out and hopefully we will see you in the next live. And to be sure you don't miss it, like, like this video and subscribe and follow and do the things. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later.